In this video, I want to talk about uh, how things reach thermal equilibrium and kind of the conservation of energy uh, process of how that comes into play. So um, first of all, what is thermal equilibrium? Um, if you mix, let me write this down. If you mix materials with different temperature so that they can exchange heat, And this is referred to as putting them in thermal contact with each other. Um, so the materials are able to exchange heat with each other. They're able to exchange energy with each other. Um, what's going to happen is uh, equilibrium will be reached when everything is at the same final temperature. So that's first of all, the kind of rule, the basic physics behind this is that um, things exchange energy until they reach the same temperature, until they reach the same temperature. And remember, temperature is a measure of energy, um, but sometimes it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, but anyway, uh, they exchange energy until they reach the same final temperature. And uh, in doing this, the higher temperature material gives off energy and the lower temperature material absorbs energy. And conservation of energy dictates that um, the total amount of energy exchanged must be zero in the sense that um, the energy given off by the higher temperature material will be a negative heat. The temperature that's absorbed by the lower temperature material will be a positive heat. And if you add up all of the heats that are happening in the system, it all has to sum to zero at the end of the day. So in equation format, if you have, uh, if you have here, let me make one of my little flow charts. If you have here um, the high temperature material and you have down here the low temperature material, what's going to happen is the high temperature material, its temperature will of course go down, okay? until it reaches the, the final temperature. And um, the lower temperature material, the temperature will go up until it reaches the final temperature. So anyway, my point is um, you're going to have a Q for this process. Let's call it Q1. You're gonna have a Q for this process let's call it Q2, the conservation of energy is that Q1 plus Q2 equals zero. Because again, what that's saying is Q1 is gonna be negative, Q2 is gonna be positive, and they have to be equal in magnitude because um, that's what conservation of energy is, that the amount of energy that the hot one gives off has to be equal to the amount of energy that the low temperature one absorbs. Um, so that's how you handle a situation where you have multiple different things interacting with each other, exchanging heat. You know from the previous videos how to calculate these cues, how to calculate these heats, depending on whether it's a temperature change or a phase change. Um, and so you calculate all the individual heats, you add them all up, and you say that must be equal to zero if indeed energy is conserved uh, for the process that you're talking about. 